Okay guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about and tackle resources. Now, resources is a huge part of um, making bots with bass, okay? And something we're really gonna to have to get into for you to make the best bots possible. Okay, I'm gonna try and explain um, what resources are, okay? Um, at first, it probably won't make any sense to you, but after we've finished this video, it should make some sense to you after you've seen some world life examples. Okay, what resource is, guys, is basically a, any kind of control that we use uh, within our script. So it could be a text file, um, a list of usernames and passwords, a list of proxies, um, it could be a database connection, it could be um, a set of random numbers or strings um, that we can then take and use within our script. Okay, so I'm going to show you an, um, live examples now. So we come here and create resource. And what we're going to do, we're going to create resources for the um, script that we made. We start to make the bot that we start to make. Because in the um, previous video, you saw that we filled out the form. However, if we get run the bot how it is, it's just going to fill out the form with the same information every time. And that's no good. So what we're going to do is create some resources to tackle that. So press create resource. The first one that we're going to make is website. Um, sorry, website names. Press next. And in this case, I mean, there's many ways to skin a cat, but in this case, we're going to use a random string. Press next. Leave the default value and press finish. Okay, so we've made a resource. The next resource that we're gonna make is called passwords. Passwords, <laughs> press next. And we're gonna use a random string again. Press next, press next, and press finish. And that's another resource made. And then we create another one, and we're gonna call this one emails. Because as you know, we had to give an email um, within the form so we're going to make a resource to handle that now in this case guys we're going to use lines from a file okay so you select that press next and then it will say give you some options we only want to read in this case so we'll choose that option how it is use the lines in the file only once and then finish so basically with that resource um, when we use it within our script, it will find the resource, the email list, and it will just take one of the lines one by one and use them. But you'll see that in a second, guys. Don't worry. Now, when we normally hit record, it just takes us um, to the screen to build our bots. But now that we've got resources, look look what happens, guys. Press record. And we be brought to this GUI, this graphical user interface. And... That's what's going to be you're going to see when you use resources because it also doubles up as a um, graphical user interface that um, you'll see when you, you run your bots, but also when you build your bots and you give the give them to friends or you um, sell them. This is what they'll see to um, provide options within the scripts. So it, this will become clear, guys. So for website names, you you saw that we said give um random sorry random string so we click the option there to fill out that resource and we brought to this um, screen now what we're using this resource for guys is for the website names so what I'm gonna select here is the bot nation and then I'm gonna say use any digit and then again any digit then any digit so what I'm saying is is whenever this resource is used create a random string okay that that has the bot nation at the start and then a random digit a random digit and another random digit so we can press the test button and you'll see some of the results that we'd get the bot nation 179 the bot nation 721 and you don't have to use it like this as you can see there's many options you can use uppercase lowercase names so on and so forth but for this example, that's fine. So I'm going to hit the X button. And that's filled out. So the next field is passwords. Remember, we use random strings for that. 
resource as well. So I'm going to click the icon again to fill out the options. And for this is, I'm going to use this resource when we get to the password section. So I think that I'm going to come up with, I'm going to make it use a girl's first name, then an uppercase vowel, then any digit, any digit. Press test again, and these are some of the results that we get. Patrica, U79, Roof, U62, and so on and so forth. Now for the third resource was emails. And remember, this one was a bit different, guys. We said um, to use a file. So when we click the icon to fill out the options here, we have to tell where the file is that's to be used. So I've made one here, guys. It's called emails. I'm just going to open it up so you can see. All this file is is a list of made up um, email addresses. So I'm going to select that list. So basically, whenever that resource is used in a bot, it will find this file where we've told it to find, where to find it, and it's going to take a line from that file. We said just use each line once. So every time it's used, it will use a different line one by one. Okay, so we press OK. And you'll be brought to the familiar screen that you've seen before. Okay, we've ordered um, items for step by step to fill out the form that we did in our last bot. Okay, but as you know, each some of these steps, like what's the website name going to be, the email, and the password, is just going to keep using the same one over and over. So we need to use our resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the bot step by step. So we come to the website, we click the button to fill out the form, now we've got to the um, stage where if we press the button again it's just going to fill out the form field what do you want your website to be called with bot nation 100. Now, what we can do, you can click on any of the blocks or any of the tabs of what the bot's going to do. So in this case, we've got to the part where it's going to fill out that field. We could double click, and as we can see, the step's going to fill out the field with Bot Nation 100. Now, if we get rid of that, we've got three options. We can create a um, value in Visual Constructor, insert a variable, but these two options for, are for a different day. The one we want to look at is load from file, user input or database. In other words, use a resource. So we click on that and it'll ask us what resource do we want to use. So the one that we want to pick is website names. So we pick that, press next, press OK. And you'll see it's filled out now with website names with parentheses. That means use the resource website names. So click OK. Now look, guys, what happens when we click the next button. It's going to fill out the field, but it's using the resource. So you can see it's filled out the field with the bot nation 651. So we said whenever the resource is used to fill out the box, um, sorry, to fill out whatever, where it's been used with the bot nation, random digit, random digit, random digit. And that's exactly what it's done. So we've called the resource there and Bass has used the resource and filled out the field with the information. So I hope that's starting to make a little bit of sense now, guys. So the next stage, if we pressed next step, it would fill out the email address with Dino Big Man 700. Now we don't want the form to fill out with that every time. So what we do is edit the step, get rid of the Dino Big Man 700. Now the option we want to use is when we want to use a resource, we always use load from file, use an input database, which is the middle option. Now which resource do we um, want to use? Well, we only made three, emails, passwords, and website names. So in this case, it's emails. Click the next button, the OK button, and you'll see it's filled with the emails resource now. Click OK. Now look what happens. 
That's right, it's used the resource. So what was the resource? We said whenever the resource emails is used to go to a list, we said where the list is and pick one of them, um, um, sorry, one of the lines from the list and insert it. And that's what's happened guys. It's um, gone to the list, it's picked one of the lines from the list, the first one in this case, took it and filled out the field. Now the next field is, excuse me guys, <coughs> sorry about that, I've got a stinking cold is to reinsert the email. So all we do there, we want to do the same, we want to use the same email. So we get rid of Dino you know, Big Man 700 and we call the resource, which is the load from file, username input, click the one that says emails, press OK, and you'll see it appear there. Press OK again. Now let's run that. And there you go, it fills out using the resource. Okay? And the last one that we want to use use it on is the password. Now, if we press run now, it will use the same password, Ruby777 star. We double click. We get rid of that. You've got it, guys. The middle option. In this case, we use the one that says passwords. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Press next. Press OK. And you'll see the resource there. Press OK. Now let's see what happens. It fills out the password. And what did we say the resource to do? We said to use um, a girl's first name, an uppercase, I think it was, and two digits. So that's what it's done. You can't see it because it's um, starred out. But then we just want to replace the second one. Once again, get rid of what's there. Let's call the resource, which is called passwords. Hit next, press OK, press OK, and we're done. Let's run that. It will fill out the next password. And then we press next step, and it's gonna go and fill out the recapture. Sorry guys. So we've filled out the form using resources. It's just going to fill out the recapture that we covered in a previous video. When filling out a recapture guys, it can take 10 seconds or two minutes depending on the queue and what service you're using. And also what time of day it is to be fair. Need some of that music you have when you're on the phone, you know, the shopping music and <laughs> when you're in a queue. Sometimes it takes a while. But I hope you're starting to understand resources now, guys. We're basically, when we um, replace an option with a resource, it will just um, call on the resource, and that could be a list, it could be a random string, it could be a database connection, and it will read from that. So the, the capture's done. We've clicked the button to put create. And it's just deciding, but it's going to let us create that website. So like I say guys, I hope resources are starting to become clear. Have a play around yourself, get to understand it. We're gonna be using resources in all of the future videos. So if you haven't got it straight away, please don't worry. Um, we're gonna be going over them time and time again. So you'll get there, you'll get that light bulb moment. Um, and yeah, so I hope that, that makes sense. Um, and I will see you, yes, there you go. We have a result, we got um, a success there. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.